hi and welcome to today's video so today it will be a bit shorter since i am the only thing i'm planning to add is just a ball that can bounce around the screen and we will also be detecting the collision with the player itself so this is what we made in the last video so we can see we can just move our player and we're also detecting the collision with our window so we're gonna start off by creating the actual ball itself and it's gonna be a circle shape not a rectangle shape as our player and this takes in a radius not a width and a height since it's a circle we can also set our color to red and also the position is also pretty much gonna be around the middle of the screen just like we set our player but then we're gonna add a bit more offset on the y axis so that's what i am currently kind of doing here okay and if i can just figure out what i did wrong there that would be very nice there we go okay and uh, now we're also on we also need to have a ball speed same as our player speed a bit lower and we also have a ball velocity and we're gonna set it to a predefined uh, velocity as a start this is the velocity is obviously gonna change every frame but this is just so that it can go somewhere at the beginning and we're also going to be drawing it and we can see that yeah we have drawn ball basically uh, a circle actually not a ball and if we do ball not move with our velocity we that's going to be actually moving it okay so now the window bounce it's pretty much very similar to how we do player so we're gonna but now we have to check on all of the sides because on the player we basically just checked left and right but for our ball we also have to check the top and the bottom as well as the left and right so a bit more coding a bit more collision detection but no worries and we can see that here we use ball dot get radius and not get size because in get size we get width and the height but we don't have that in circle shape we just have a radius okay and now this is the top side so here we are checking the y position of the ball now on our bottom side we don't want to change the velocities if we if it's on the bottom side well that means that it's game over you know the player wasn't able to get to the ball in time and it's basically game over and I also have to and don't forget to include actual IO stream so that we can talk to the console and we can see game over it works now we need to have a collision with a player and how we do that is well we're gonna create a float rect which is the next position position and this way we can tr keep track of our how our position is gonna be the next frame so if our next position is going to be if in our next position we're going to be colliding with a player well then just don't you know refuse to go through the player that's the simplest way of collision detection with a player and so you can see every frame we are getting the position of the ball and the position of the player and if player bounce intersects the next position well then we can just set our velocity uh, y velocity to the negative speed and we can see that it works i mean and that's basically it now the thing is is you can see that it's kind of changing speed very uh weirdly that's because i am updating the velocity with delta time and this might mean that sometimes we are getting a bit faster ish speeds but that's just because of the delta time and i have to i have to keep just 
work on it a bit more because as you can see it's it's kind of messy so i'm gonna if you have any suggestions how i can improve on this please by all means help me as much as you can okay i'm sure you have a bit more knowledge in this than me anyways as i said this is a pretty short video i would like you to thank you everyone for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also and make sure to check out the playlist or, or check out the previous video that i did on this uh, breakout game thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time